Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about having a Sun in Taurus and Scorpio Ascendant in a natal chart. Now, having this combination, obviously you have two fixed signs, and the person may be very uh, intractable, very determined, persistent, uh, very hard to, as far as maybe going, uh, deviating from their, maybe their beliefs on things. This could be a person with Scorpio rising in, in Taurus um, sun. It's interesting because you have, even though they're both fixed in purpose, you have a, a real strong disparity between these signs because uh, the sun in Taurus is, is really, really about not making waves once their peace and tranquility likes um, having their safety and security and Scorpio rising actually could be a lot more aggressive because it is uh, it has Mars as a co-ruler uh, with it and they like Scorpio rising is often more about forcing uh, the issue or forcing the action Scorpio rising not always intentionally seems to be a lot of times caught up with crisis and upheaval and Sun and Taurus uh, has really a, an aversion to it or anathema to this and they want to avoid that at, at, at all costs so Scorpio rising can kind of bring that Taurus Sun out of that that stable peaceful uh, way about them what makes this what makes it interesting and it almost forces them to sometimes confront maybe the issues that inwardly they really don't necessarily want to now a lot of this uh, can, can the the asp even though they're incompatible by sign and they're in opposition by sign uh, an aspect an opposition aspect can intensify this let's say for example somebody has the Taurus Sun at 12 degrees and they have Scorpio ascendant at 14 degrees that would form an opposition aspect which is adversarial and that could really cause some inner turmoil or exasperation and tension it can intensify even more and uh, it could also it could indicate that this person might feel uh, sometimes misconstrued or misunderstood by others even if they're not cognizant of the subject of astrology they might feel that maybe there there's something that they're showing outwardly that is completely diametrically opposed to what's inside now the same could be true the person has an inconjunct aspect this is adverse as well and an example would be the Taurus Sun at 29 degrees and Scorpio ascendant at 2 degrees another example could be the Taurus Sun at 1 degree and a Scorpio ascendant at 28 degrees and this would form an out of sign inconjunct aspect and uh, what's important too is to remember okay the Sun in one's natal chart uh, can represent the person's basic wants and the rising sign or ascendant can represent perhaps the manner or method in which one attains uh, uh, these wants so Taurus Sun can be about generating income uh, material items possessions uh, monetary st uh, financial stability and security peace and tranquility even love because Venus is real I mean I'm sorry Taurus is ruled by the planet Venus and Scorpio rising and sometimes in a negative manifestation can be manipulative I'm just saying in some cases perhaps these things can be attained that way in in, in the worst uh, possible that would be one of the worst manifestation but mainly you look at this this could be attained through maybe subtle means a Scorpio rising can can um, can do can do such more through subtle measures through than than any other sign I believe and perhaps through just their uh, by commanding the respect from others uh, maybe through position of power of some kind uh, in some cases uh, Scorpio like type professions such as psychology or psychiatry many of you may know that uh, I believe he was a, he was the founder he was a fairly renowned person Sigmund Freud founder I believe of modern psychology was a Taurus with Scorpio rising so I think this is a good example uh, of that and perhaps other Scorpio things such as astrology the occult supernatural subjects 
maybe things maybe through uh, even if it's not the profession maybe the person can attain the Torah Sun wants through uh, extensive research and investigation and looking deep into things and this could be even more pronounced if the Sun is in the eighth house in, in the person's natal chart and maybe uh, there there are some uh, the other things to consider now the house position even though the Taurus uh, Sun may be somewhat camouflaged and cloaked by the intense Scorpio rising could still come out even if it's in quiet ways in, in the particular house it resides in in many most cases if somebody has a Taurus Sun in Scorpio rising the Sun will be posited in either the sixth seventh or eighth house in their natal chart if the Sun in Taurus is in the sixth house this person might show the strong persistent persevering qualities of Taurus the kind of slow plotting way uh, maybe in matters connected uh, with health and uh, with employment and the, these general qualities even with if they if the person happens to have like uh, their pets or small animals you might see this more docile quality come out in these matters if if the Sun in Taurus is in the seventh house these qualities can come out perhaps in partnership and relationship uh, issues and this person will show it can show a lot of uh, being stable being very steady being very methodical and prudent uh, in these matters but also at the same time show a strong uh, stubborn and sometimes obstinate quality in these matters now if the Sun in Taurus is in the eighth house these Taurus attributes can come out strongly in matters perhaps connected with inheritance with death uh, through uh, and attitudes maybe toward a sexual partner even in matters connected with transformation or regeneration and you could see the, the plotting methodical qualities perhaps come out from Taurus in the in this area and show a lot of consistency uh, perhaps uh, in the in these matters as as well so anyway people that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for having the Sun in Taurus in a Scorpio ascendant in a natal chart and stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about having a Taurus Sun in Sagittarius ascendant in a natal chart two things I want to get with you on before I head out firstly the stars may impel but do not compel and secondly never isolate any single astrological element aspect planetary placement position configuration influence or what have you and make an analysis of a person astrologically speaking based on this alone because astrologically speaking the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one until next time people stay well